Hi, today I'd like to talk about an online tool called Bionomia and how it can relate to all the activities through uh, NEON. So Bionomia is a website available at bionomia.net, which is seen here. And this is a way for individuals to get credit for um, specimens and observations that they have made and identified um, from the field. So let's start real quickly um, with NEON. So this is the biorepository portal where we um, aggregate and publish records of all the samples that we have here in the biorepository. And if you haven't seen this before, you could come here and search uh, through all sorts of different criteria, but we could search for Blurina, a, a genus of shrews. And so we can see that we have some specimens that have fallen into the ground beetle pitfall traps here. And if we continue scrolling through some of these records, we come across another cluster here from the uh, standard vouchering that happens from the uh, small mammal protocol. And in this collection on our portal, we have information about the field protocols, a very reduced um, uh, set of information there. And we have links to the protocols. Um, and we also see here that there's a link to this collection on GBIF. So the data are available on the biorepository portal, but we can also go here to this site called GBIF, which is the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. And this is a large scale aggregator that takes data from things like NEON and natural history museums and university collections to iNaturalist and eBird and all sorts of other um, data generating platforms. And they bring them all together in one place. And so here you can see there are 2,700 records so far that are being published from this mammal collection that's already been cited 55 times um, in the literature. And so this is just another way that all of the um, samples and data that are being collected in the field are being published and used by researchers online. We see here this little badge that says that 22 collectors and determiners have um, been credited within this collection so far. And this is what we're gonna talk about uh, today. So if we click this, this takes us back to a Bionomia site, but here we see again, the name of this collection as published through the biorepository portal. Um, and the, the information about that collection. And we see so far that 22 people have been, have either themselves taken credit or been um, ascribed credit by other people. And so you may see some names that you're familiar with um, from various NEON domains. And so these are uh, a small list so far, but we can look at um, the, the agent strings, the names that are associated with this collection. And there are 296 names so far as Bionomia has parsed them of um, your of fellow NEON workers at um, various domains uh, across, across NEON. So this website is very easy to sign up for. I'm already logged in, but you'd go here to um, sign in and you can see you can log in with your ORCID. And I believe that everybody working for NEON has already signed up with ORCID. It's a researcher ID, so I could click log in. Um, if you don't already have an account, it would take you through a few pages that are very sim simple where you log into ORCID and say, yes, I'd like uh, Bionomia to have access. And so from here, we're now on the Bionomia front page, uh, homepage, and you can see that you can go up in the upper right to your profile. And so this is my own profile. And so it has a little bit of information that it pulled um, for me from ORCID. And you can see here that there's some 8,000 specimens I've collected and not quite 11,000 that I've identified um, and kind of the countries that they come from. And so um, this is really cool uh, because this is now a place that I can point people to, to say, to, to demonstrate that yes, I have collected and identified um, things that have come from nature. And then a really cool thing um, from that is you can, set this up to archive everything in Zenodo. So this is this has a DOI, this is citable, this is something that can go onto a CV and is one way that we can claim some of the credit for all of the field work uh, that we do. So if you create yourself a profile, um, what the first thing you'll notice is that uh, this is your kind of main display that's kind of what the public would see, but you'll see a tab up here called specimens. And here I, it's saying that there are some specimens there. Um, if I come here, this is a, a set of all the specimens I've already claimed that we could go and review everything that I've claimed. But I'm going to go here to discovered. And Bionomia has discovered these occurrences from GBIF. 
And so I can come here and say, okay, here's this the scientific name. I can see maybe what collection this comes from. And I see, oh yeah, my name's here under identified by, but it's not under collected. So this first specimen, I can come and say, yes, uh, use this little microscope icon, say, yes, I did, I did identify that. And perhaps if I had collected it, I could hit the net or I could hit both. But it looks like all of these I have simply identified. So I'm going to uh, click the identified all, and that will bulk claim all of those. And here we see we get to a few more things. And so these ones up top, I can say, oh, yes, these are all things that I've identified, and I can claim those. And then here we see um, I'm included as one of the collectors for this specimen, even though I was not the person who identified it. And so I can go ahead and go in here and say, I am the collector. Uh, here, same thing, there are now some, uh, some grasses from our ASU herbarium. And I was the collector, but I was not the determiner. So again, I can uh, do this. And then we start getting to some things here. I certainly was not alive in the 1800s, um, nor in many of these 1900s. All of these are not mine. They just happen to match my last name. And so here I'm going to say, oh, none of these are me. So now that's it because I've already claimed uh, my specimens previously and all of those are now added to the overview which now increases this a little bit. The other thing that we can do is we can attribute specimens to other people. And I should also mention that making your profile public allows others um, to see this. So uh, I have attributed many specimens to, to uh, different folks through NEON and so we can go to one of them and see that here are specimens that I have, uh, or specimens that have not yet been attributed. So this might be what it looks like. And so I can see this is, um, you know, who I'm trying, the name of who I'm trying to uh, attribute things to, their ORCID, I could go look at their public profile. Um, but I can look here that all of these data that we uh, have published from the NEON Biorepository portal. So here, okay, this is an identified by, um, and it looks here like all of these were collected by. So this is a way that you can go through and start ascribing records to other people, some of which our team has done here for about 40,000 records or so, but there are hundreds of thousands more um, to be still ascribed and claimed by people. So I hope um, that this kind of brief overview uh, makes it uh, kind of easy, and uh, we hope that um, many people across NEON will log in and claim their specimens um, and use this as a tool to really showcase uh, at least part of the things that you're doing in the field.